Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk, and welcome back to episode 6 of Let's Play Persona 4. In the previous episode, we went back into the TV to find out exactly what happened to Saki Kanishi, and also we met up with the mysterious bear, and he is asking us to get to the bottom of these murders. So, uh, we're not really sure what we're going to say. Um, I promise her we've got no choice. Uh, <laughs> not much of a choice, is there? So, uh, I promise. bear practically holding a gun to our heads but it's true that we came here to figure things out so far we're completely in the dark look for the culprit huh bring it on you got my word too might as well introduce ourselves i'm yosuke hanamura and this is my buddy charlie tunoku you got a name teddy <laughs> finally we find out his name and yes, Teddy is pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Oh? What's he got for those those glasses? What are these glasses for? As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! Oh man, he's sporting those glasses. It'll look good. Looking good, Yosuke. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? I got a, I got a golf club. Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. <laughs> Teddy doesn't look like a fighter. He's more of a lover. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Great. How's that sound? Fantastic, Teddy. Sounds good. Can Teddy really not fight? Uh, <laughs> these options. Try touching Teddy, try pushing Teddy, or try hitting Teddy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's touch Teddy. What? <laughs> That's not what. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a turtle flipped backwards on a shell. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. But he he's so soft and and lovable. Oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? Hmm. <laughs> rough spot. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Charlie. W wait! <laughs> he needs help back up. Best moral support ever. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? It's got that crazy background. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, uh, I can't stand too close, you know, I'd get in your way. <laughs> That's not a very good innocent look he's got. <sighs> hmm. 
Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Uh oh. I guess we're going to her booze shop. And there it is. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. I, I don't think I want to go in there. I'm pretty sure going in there's bad. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second. They're here. What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Huh? God. What? Kiss concert? What the thou, fuck? Thou, thou art I. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Here we go, guys. It's finally a fight. Some shadows have weaknesses. I can tell this one has a weakness, too. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Try stuff out and see what works. All right. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Once knocked down, the enemy will be vulnerable and you can act again. However, if the enemy exploits your weakness, it will be able to act again. Keep an eye on both the shadow's weaknesses and your own. Alright, oh my god, we, we can finally do stuff. We're, we're finally in a fight. <laughs> it's about time. Alright, so we need to take these guys out. And, uh, and this music's playing it's awesome. I love it. But uh, So we've got our, the skills that we had in the last fight, the first fight we ever did. And the first thing I'm going to try is maybe Zeal? Maybe that'll work. Actually, you know what? I want to see if I can... Okay, so you can actually hit uh, the left bumper. And it will Yikes, tell you. This is one oh. tough enemy. Okay, so Teddy will actually tell you what you've tried against them and what works and what doesn't. So you can't find any information about on enemies unless you try it first. And then this will slowly fill out and tell you what you've tried. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so let's uh, let's just try Zeo first. Zanagi. track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Supporting party members like Teddy will remember the attacks you use on enemies. Select analysis from the command menu to view known data on the enemy. Whatever you want to know more, whenever you want to know more about the shadows, use the analysis feature. The L1 button also acts as a shortcut to accessing the analysis feature. So that's exactly what we just tried. So we knocked that one down. Now we could attack it again. So we get to go again since we found its weakness. However, you know, I'm not really sure if I can do this yet, but we're going to try to knock down the other one. Since, you know, one has the same weakness, the other one's going to have it too. Okay, so it's not going to let me do the other attack that I'm talking about, which we will get to eventually. So we're just going to attack. 
We'll see. This one's weaker. Hopefully we can kill him. Yep, sure enough. We did. Oh, it's disgusting. All right, so basically when you knock down an enemy, uh, if you don't kill it, it will get back up and hit you. So it can still go. Uh, in the previous game, you were able to uh, knock an enemy down, and it would spend its whole turn getting back up. But not in this game. All right, got 44 experience, 100 yen, medicine times two. Finally, a fight. He felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei. Your hit points and spirit points have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level two. Now, before we get into that, there's one thing that I've been meaning to talk about. Basically, your HP and your SP. Uh, your, your HP is used, of course. You know that's the, the normal. That's how many hit points you've got. Uh, and, you know how much damage you can take. And your SP is using magic. However, you have melee attacks, and instead of ca uh, costing SP, they actually cost HP. So next time we look into uh, our abilities, I'll actually show you which ones cost HP. And we can create personas up to level two, and that is something that we're not going to deal with quite yet. So our persona is, is Izanagi. Charlie Tonoku has faced his other self. He has obtained the, the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Maybe. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. <laughs> sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. <laughs> I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? I, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that we're getting to this point in the game. Like, it's just, it, it's awesome. I, I, I cannot wait to keep playing. And you guys keep watching too, it, it's great. That's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him <laughs> sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. Yeah, Teddy did a good job. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Got to use my golf club. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? That bitch. I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. But, but everything's great at, at Juness. That poor father, to have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. In we go. Yosuke's got some guts. I'll give him that. Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I... 
I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Kanishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Oh, she wanted to confess? Huh? Me? Daddy was a real pain in the ass. Oh, Yosuke, that is unfortunate. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. In the ass. Oh, that hurts, man. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo -hoo. Y Yosuke question mark? Whoa. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Holy shit. What is that? Huh? Two Yosukes? God, I thought one was bad enough. Who are you? I know his weakness. Kick him in the nuts. I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? We should have brought Chie. Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? Gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Man, other Yosuke is kind of an asshole. Why is that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey! Maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. Oh, God, that is low. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. He has got some really creepy eyes. What's with this game and all the creepy eyes? I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! See it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Oh shit. This can't be good. Yosuke. 
Yosuke's down. And what the hell is that thing? What? <laughs> what? This thing looks ridiculous. I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Out of the way. Wind of Oblivion. Okay, well, apparently weak to wind. Okay, and he just charged up. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Looks like a dude riding a frog with a mustache. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select a guard from the battle menu to, to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailment attacks can be blocked, but be careful, for you will leave you will leave the defense stance after being hit once. Okay, so it's our turn and we've gotten back up. Now here, I'm gonna describe exactly how I'm going to handle this battle. Alright, our first boss battle, Shadow Yosuke. Yosuke is the Magician Arcana, and uh, he is, he's actually weak to lightning, which is perfect because that's what Izanagi has. That's really our only magic attack. But uh, he's also null to both uh, dark and light, but we don't have this ability, so it doesn't matter. But the three things that we need to know about this guy is he uses Wind of Oblivion, Power Charge, and Guard. Wind of Oblivion is pretty bad because that's actually Izanagi's weakness. Wind is Izanagi's weakness, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, we will be using the guard ability to avoid that and also to avoid his power charge attacks All right, so here we are. Let's see. Okay, so he's actually buffed his attack So you can see there beside the attack. It's got two red arrows. I'm pointing at the screen right now like You can actually see me, but uh, so he's he has his uh, attack power buffed. So we definitely want to guard All right, that would have done a lot more damage had we not guarded so right now, you can see he's no longer buffed. Uh, his buff actually only lasts for one round. Enemies later on in the game, uh, their their buffs will last longer than that. So, his weakness is Zeo. Let's try it out. Alright, let's hit him up again. Alright, it's his turn, he's getting back up, and he's guarding, so, it's guarding this, its weak point. <laughs> okay, Te thanks, Teddy, thanks, uh, so, at this point, something about this boss, every time he, he, he actually guards, he's gonna follow up with his big wind attack, so, it's best to always guard when he guards, and there it is, Wind of Oblivion, that would have actually been a critical hit, uh, had I not guarded, so, he's not buffed up, Let's break out the Zeo. And again, actually, I want to show you something. Cleave, you see it says 5 hit points. So, Cleave is a physical attack, and those cost hit points. I, I mentioned that before, but I actually just wanted to show you real quick. Alright, he is all charged up. That means it's time to guard. He should do a melee attack here. Huh, that's it? Boring. Bam, there it is. He's no longer charged up. Zeo. When in doubt, Zeo. Actually, that, that's actually pretty true in this game. If you're not sure what their, their weakness is, it seems like lightning is the, the go-to spell. At least in my experience, anyway. That's not gonna work. Get out of my I can't get over how ridiculous the the design is for this monster. <laughs> the giant giant yellow gloves, the frog with a mustache. I, I I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh let's guard. What a freaking pain in the ass! Get out of my way! That's not gonna happen, Shadow Yosuke. <laughs> Man. 
This this fight is so easy compared to some of the fights later on. Like this is just <laughs> a cakewalk. Okay, so uh, something else that you can do is whenever he's all charged up, we know he's gonna do a big attack. So we can actually use Zeo right now, and that's gonna give us an, another attack. And here we can guard. Don't underestimate so up he goes. He's gonna do his attack. And bam. We are done. Well, if I don't miss. Shadow Yosuke, it was fun while it lasted. Alright, level 4. Ooh, and Izanagi went up level. So, as you guys can see, our uh, persona can go up levels. Now, this isn't the only persona we're going to get, and that will definitely be explained later. But you can see that he's strong against lightning, weak against wind, and uh, he is null against dark attacks. That means just dark attack won't work on him at all. And he learned Rakunda. Honestly, I don't remember what Rakunda does. I think it may lower the defense of an enemy. I can never remember exactly I... what they all do. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone's the same inside. No, I don't think so. You have to be brave, you're still yourself. wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the, uh, the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the Persona Jiraiya. This is my Persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Say my name, bitch. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's break out the booze. Let's go back. No, I don't want to go back. There's so much... Oh, no, booze! Come, come back. <laughs> come back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? 
So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. This world killed them? Hmm. It was the same for them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? That sounds... sounds about right, Yosuke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Teddy agrees. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Y yes, Yosuke, just like what we did with you. Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, yes. We need to find the culprit. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. That's what I just said? Yeah. Damn. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Uh, um, can I ask something too? You can ask me anything, if Teddy. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Aw, man, I have, I have no idea. I don't know, you look like you're a child that, I don't know, maybe your dad was a bear and your mom was a clown? I don't know. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Aww, Teddy's lonely. Aw, oh, we made a promise. You keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. If you watch uh, Teddy's model, you'll actually see his ears flickering. It's kind of cool. It's a neat touch. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. <laughs> TV and Junes. Oh man, hope they never sell it. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Doomed. Got it? Got it, Teddy. We're on well, it. Pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. I like how our one entrance is a TV in the middle of a shopping department at Juness. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, guys, we're going to call it an episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.